Hi guys, welcome back to my pull up makeup. My name is Stephanie, welcome to my channel. As you saw in the thumbnail today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I bought from Sephora and MAC. So let's get started. First thing I picked up was the Huda Beauty, the rose gold palette, remastered. Oh my gosh, guys, um, I was playing with this palette today. Um, so I created this eye look, but I've been wearing this makeup like all day. So if it looks, you know, a little wonky, that's why. So it looks like this. And it's 18 eyeshadows and four ready to layer textures. There's eight buttery mattes, eight melted metals, and one wet and dry jet black, and one highlighted pressed pearl. So let me go ahead and open her up again. There's like one of this in here, protector. And look at these shades. I don't know if you can tell, but I've already been playing with them. Like I created this eye look. Um, such a beautiful mirror. I'm just super, super happy with um, Huda Beauty and all the products that keep coming out. So keep doing a good job. Next thing I picked up was the new nude Huda Beauty palette. Um, and this one, has 18 gorgeous shades ranging from a cool to warm tones, including 10 buttery mattes that blend seamlessly through with your skin. There's four multi-reflective shadows with versatile pearly to iridescent finish and two pressed glitters for an opian touch. I hope I said that right. And one pressed pearl for a velvety shine and a concealer base for your eyeshadow to pop. So let me open this up. And I think this one's my favorite just because, um, well, let me open it and you'll see. Like, look at this glitter right here, guys. Let me just, I'll just swatch it for you guys. Dang, like just the glitter, you don't need any glue, you don't need anything, like it just goes right on the eyelid like I'm trying to take it off my finger here and it's like not coming like it's not coming off like it's like stuck on my finger so it just shows you like dang like this stuff is cool um but let's keep moving on it actually was at Sephora for a while just because I didn't know if I wanted the travel size just because I am on the go like all the time and it would just be so beneficial for me. So I might go back and get that because I ended up getting the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. I've been wanting this and it was just calling my name. I just, I needed it in my life. And you guys, let me open her up. I actually haven't even played with this palette yet. So I've been needing to do this haul and I just haven't had time to go around it. So like... It's such a nice palette overall, like great presentation. I, this is life, like, yes. So I thought that was amazing. Actually, let's swatch some, let's see. Let's do this yellow. Oh yes, you don't disappoint. So these are just like some of the shades there. Oh my gosh, like I'm already so excited to just start playing with this palette. I heard such great things about this palette that I'm just in love. So the next thing I picked up was the Rihanna lip, the, the lip paint. And I got it in the color Unlocked because I saw a guest of mine at work um, with it on and I asked her, I'm like, what, are you, what do you have on your lips? Like, what is it? I need it. And she said this. And I see these online. I just wasn't like gravitating towards it. But when she, when I saw it in person, I'm like, I hope it looks good on me too. So like, whew, that was just like one swatch right there, guys. Look at that beauty. I already have a lip color in my lips, so um, I'll have to try this on later. But I'm super excited. Like, it looks great. Um, another thing I got from Rihanna was the Instant Bronzer. 
and so I had originally picked out a different shade and when I got home and I looked at the box it ended up being a different shade that I didn't so I just picked up the wrong one basically that's that's what happened but um, I'm gonna have to try her out and see if that's my shade or not but if I'll, I'll make it work we'll see if not I'll return it I hate returning things I'm so lazy like even if I go back to Sephora I ended up buying something else and not returning the product that I didn't like I just it's like a habit of mine I don't know and oh one more Huda Beauty thing let me just open her up it's the banana bread easy bake loose baking powder and setting powder Oh my gosh, guys, everyone has been raving about this. I think even Tati mentioned this on her channel, and I'm like, I have to try this. And she had like so many setting powders that she was trying to get rid of or did get rid of. Um, so yeah, I am so, so, so excited. I I was using this uh, Beauty Bakery one for like the longest time, and I still love it. So I just got to see how I like um, the new one more now. Um, so that was it from my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, now we're going to move on to my small Mac. So it was National Lipstick Day and oh, I got lipstick on my dress. And it was National Lipstick Day and I had to go back to my OG spa. I had to go to Mac to pick up my lipstick you buy one and then you get another for free which is such a fantastic deal i mean each lipstick is 18 dollars, guys like who wouldn't do that so i ended up getting let me just take this out a couple of things not too many things i ended up getting the shade um honey love and it's what i'm wearing on my lips right now i just um it's an OG color for me. I always, I mean, I've always loved it and I just needed to pick up another because I ran out. And so the color that they gave me, online I saw that they were giving you like options. I didn't get options when I went to the store. I mean, I went to Macy's, so they were like, this is what they had. So, I mean, it's a free lipstick. Um, so it's CB96 and I don't know if you can see that or not, but let me um, swatch her. She looks better like when I put her on, but when I look at it um, from just like the lipstick itself, it just doesn't look like a color that I would wear, but like swatch on my skin looks pretty nice. So I might have to give it a shot there. And when I was sh checking out, um, they had the 40% goodbyes and I'm always like drawn to those. I'm like, ooh, you know, let's see the poor lipsticks or whatever it is that no one bought and it's like my golden treasure I don't know and look what a beautiful color I found guys like what I don't remember how much I paid let me see I paid um uh, no that's not it what is it I paid eleven seventy for this one so not bad at all guys and let me just swatch her really quick beautiful oh my gosh guys like I was so happy and then I got um, this it's like a color corrector and this was on the 40% off too and I'm like ooh and I don't know if it's my shade or not but I I mean I pretty got close to it and it was like 40% off so I'm like well, okay let's just add that to my bag and just because I bought those few items, I ended up getting the MAC canister. I saw this online and was super excited and thought like, oh, maybe I could put my lipsticks in there. Like it's going to be a holder for something. And um, it's not that big. I mean, it's still super cute. Um, I just wouldn't be able to fit anything. I think like not even like just like one. Because if I stuck another one in there, it would get stuck. And then with my long nails, I would try to figure out how to get it out. And then like brushes, same thing, like I can't fit too many in there. Like maybe, like even if I stick this foundation, but oh, it doesn't even fit. So I guess this is like more of just like a vanity Q MAC lipsticks, which is still pretty cool, just like not what I expected. Um, but that is all, just a small haul. Um, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Um, 
And uh, so yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, guys. Bye.